Right now, as the storm gets closer, people along the coast are getting ready and changing plans to, as you can imagine, stay inside. CBS 8's Rocio de la Fe is live now from Del Mar with more on the weather preps. Rocio? Well, it's been mostly dry here tonight. We did see a few sprinkles here earlier, but not much rain has actually fallen here in North County so far. We have seen plenty of lightning here tonight and can even hear the thunder off in the distance this evening. The storm is expected to soak the coast as it heads in. We'll be getting a suntan on the beach this weekend. Along the coast, sea diggins are ready to enjoy the indoors for a change as the storm system makes its way up from the border. We're just going to have to be inside a little bit more. This guy's not going to get as many walks coming up. It'll be a little messy. There'll be some traffic and uh, just got to stay dry and enjoy time inside. In Oceanside, the weekly sunset market was canceled in anticipation of the storm. I came here because usually Oceanside has a farmer's market and I just drove about maybe an hour just for it to get canceled by the weather, so I'm kind of disappointed. In Encinitas, others say they're ready for the first winter storm as we head into the holiday weekend. I'm ready. I mean, I saw some lightning. I'm staying local. Staying local? Yep. Just right. staying put and staying off the road? Yes, just uh, driving uh, probably f uh, 10 miles and that's about it. The storm is expected to bring heavy rain countywide overnight through Friday. For those close to the coast, flooding is a concern. Our backyard is going to be, uh, we'll probably flood a little bit, uh, typically does when we get some big rains. Low line areas or some people's backyard, if your drainage isn't good, you're going to get some flooding and uh, on the beach, the tides will be higher. Those I spoke to say they hope the worst of it passes before they get on the road for the holidays. I'm heading to Arizona oh. on Saturday, but I think Saturday is looking clearer. Now across San Diego, there are going to be roads uh, temporarily closed because of the potential risk of flooding. We've posted a full list of those road closures on our website at CBS8.com.